Hey guys, yeah, I'm back again with another video, um, another news video on Thor Ragnarok, which is different because I haven't even talked about Thor Ragnarok at all yet on any of my social medias. So this is kind of new, and I been actually wanted to talk about Thor Ragnarok, but I don't know, just nothing's really been popping my attention since I talk. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't care for Thor that much he's okay and i don't really care for his movies but i am gonna go watch the new one for hulk because hulk's one of my favorite characters in the marvel cinematic universe and just marvel in general but uh yeah interesting new article there's been a bunch of articles and rumors that came up from a uh, joe blow you know about the film and how it's gonna be some sort of Planet Hulk kind of mix. So I'm gonna read an article from yahoo.com, which, yeah, I mean, from what I read it, it's basically the same thing I've re read from every other article, so I mean, it can't really be wrong or anything. I just don't know how much I trust Yahoo, but, okay. So, okay. The rumors surrounding a Planet Hulk film been swollen for a while now only the rug to be pulled out once excitement reaches a high point that's why all the rumors concerning thor ragnarok need to be taken with a grain of salt at this point especially once the possibility of playing a hulk being taught in starts to get mentioned the new rumor from joe blow is bringing planet hulk into the mix and is all the result of one newest actor to join the film the film will definitely have the planet hulk element in it the operating as a kind of mashup with the Ragnarok story. How Thor ends up on the planet in question is unclear, but he will definitely be involved in some gladiator 80-year-old games, I don't even know how you pronounce that, run by none other than Jeff Goldblum's Grandmaster. In terms of Hulk's appearance in this portion of the film, he will be rocking the one arm shoulder as he's seen in comics, so expect him to be decked out in a familiar Planet Hulk look. The idea of Jeff Goldblum running in an intergalactic gladiator showcase in Thor Ragnarok already makes this the best Thor movie, with or without confirmation of the rumor. Joe Blow also adds that Thor will sport a different look at some point in the film, having his hair head shaved and reportedly looking a lot like some sort of white... Smash? I don't even know that word. I'm sorry guys, I don't know that word. Fever dream. Um... If we finally get some sort of Planet Hulk on screen, this makes the most sense given the history of Hulk films and trouble involved with bringing the story to the screen. Bringing the Hulk into the galactic story of Thor seems to be the logical idea for the character, as opposed to dropping him in the middle of a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. We'll just have to wait and see if this is total bull or not. Hopefully it's the latter. Uh, so yeah guys, that's the article. Sorry, I messed up on a couple of the words there, and you know, I'm not the greatest reader, as you can tell. I stutter. But yeah, um, yeah, this would be interesting. Uh, you know, how long is Thor Ragnarok gonna be? I'm interested in like, is it gonna be as like long as Batman Superman? Is it gonna get an extended cut? Because I don't know how they're gonna put these two iconic stories in one movie. Now this is all a rumor, by the way. So I'm just gonna. But I'm going to talk about it as if it was real. In case this does turn out to be real, I'll just already have the video up to talk about it. So, I mean, yeah, that would be interesting. Having two movies in one, I mean, two major plots in one. You know, apparently Jeff Goldblum being in it now. I didn't even know he joined. And then Hulk being in Gladiator Games in his Hulk suit would be awesome to watch on screen. You guys don't even know, my favorite, one of my all-time favorite animated movies is Planet Hulk. Uh, I never read the comic for Planet Hulk, but I'm gonna, I want to. And the movie, the animated movie, oh my god, I love it, dude. And uh, one of my favorite all-time fights from it, it's actually in it, it's when Hulk fights uh, Beta Bill, Beta Ray Bill, Beta Ray Bill, I think that's how you pronounce it. Which is basically like an alien kind of weird mule version of Thor. So I'm interested if we will get a live action of that fight. Except it'll be like Thor versus Hulk. You know, if actually Thor's in Gladiator games, do you think they would make Thor and Hulk fight? That's what I was wondering. 
they're planning on doing that. But I don't know. This is going to be interesting if they put these two big storylines in one. But again, I'm just happy Hulk's going to be in another movie. And I mean, come on, he's going to be the only root. He's probably going to be one of the only reasons this movie's good. But you know, maybe without him, the movie would still be good. I just don't. Just from the past four movies, I don't know. Like, I guess the Thor movies have been okay, like kind of fun so far, but just the fact Hulk's in this is going to make those movies so much better, I think. And, uh, yeah, you know, Planet Hulk, this honestly is smart in my opinion, if they do do Planet Hulk now, because what they, because the reason they're not doing a solo Planet Hulk film is because Universal, you know, they would have to go through some with Universal to make it. And, uh, basically, they said, just depends on, I can't remember what it depends on, it depends on something, on, that's how, that's how they would make another Hulk movie, solo. So, it doesn't sound like, you know, basically a miracle would happen for another Hulk solo movie to happen. I think that's what one of the Marvel people said. But yeah, guys, would you like to see the Planet Hulk storyline adapted into Thor Ragnarok? Or would you like to save it for another film? Uh, you know, I don't, I think this is a smart idea to do. But I guess now all we need is a uh, World War Hulk movie. <laughs> Maybe Phase 4 will get one, I don't know. Because that wouldn't be a solo movie, so I mean, just, he would be in the title. I don't know if the title would count or not, so maybe they would have to put, you know, just Marvel's World War or something. That would be, that'd be interesting. Anyways, guys, I'm just rambling now. Uh, I don't want to keep this video dragging on. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace.